Sam Lake, it is good to see you, my friend. It's been a while. Very happy to be here. Uh, under the best of reasons, Alan Wake 2 announced at the Game Awards. Uh, it's something that fans have been wanting for a long time. It's something you guys have been pushing yeah, for yeah. for a long time. Yeah, uh, us as well. Uh, yes, I... And that's kind of where I want to start is, how did this come together? Why now, finally? <laughs> I mean, it's, as I said, it's a, it's a complicated thing, like, because, like, obviously from publisher perspective, everybody is looking at, you know, strategical things on what's in the portfolio right, right. now. And, and, and also the kind of landscape of the games is shifting through the years, kind of like, now it's more single player, now it's less single player, right. and, and these things come and go. And it's, it's, it is also down to luck, just a bit, kind of the right timing on when you are pitching yeah. to, to find the right partner for so, it. Because you've been public about how, uh, how strong of a tail, the, the, the legs on, on the original Alan Wake, yep. that it has continued <clears throat> to do well for a number of years. So is it, um, how, how much has fan support helped keep you going to try and finally get this turn this into a reality? It's really, really important. Uh, I mean, we, we, we have awesome fans and, and, you know, the amount of, of social media over all the possible channels, the amount of uh, times it's been Alan Wake 2 question mark or capital letters Alan Wake 2 confirmed <laughs> as, a, as a reaction to anything <laughs> right. pretty much uh, I'm sure but, IGN's but, been guilty of that once uh, or twice but but also like like clearly more heartfelt deeper love shown towards Alan Wake uh, you know it's it has been a constant thing and in some ways uh, obviously social media has been evolving through the years as well but yeah. in some ways I feel that that has been just growing in volume like like as, as we've uh, go on uh, forward. How, uh, so you mentioned that you'd kind of work on it between projects and, and maybe try to get it off the ground and, and now here we are. Uh, how close is the version that you're finally making here to what you had kind of originally thought about right after the first game? Has, is, it, is, is it just completely different? Are there some elements of it? I'm, I'm just kind of curious of how it how it's evolved. Yeah, I mean, like, like the, the the very early version that we were working on immediately after the first game, we 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 kind of made a demo version of that as a video right. public even, and and uh, and and some of those elements back then ended up being part of Alan Wake's American Nightmare. I mean, obviously that was a very sh small project. So, so scaled down, but some of those ideas landed there. Right. And, and, and uh, so, so not much of that going back that far remains uh, in, in this one. Certain elements, of course, be, but, but it has evolved through the years, which is a luxury in a way, looking at it now, sure. that, that those early versions yeah. didn't end up going forward. I feel really good about it, like now that we finally are making it, to have had this time to think about it, to really kind of like look at it and think about it and, and evolve it. Well, one of the big things you're kind of uh, hinting around it, and I'm not sure if people watching know, but because you, uh, you, know, you, you gave me a couple of bullet points ahead of time, this is a survival horror game now. Yes. This is not a psychological action adventure. Yes. It's a survival horror game. So you're leaning into the horror aspect of it. Uh, wh why the pivot to that out of curiosity? It's been part of this journey, uh, very much so. And, and we at Remedy, we are feeling very excited about it. Uh, it's, it, it's, it's bringing in a lot of fresh, exciting new ideas. Like, as, as said, like the original game did have horror elements to it, yeah. but it was an action game. And, 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 and for anything to do with Alan Wake, we feel that the story is very central. Of this course. horror story. And, and, and then we've been looking at 
what game genre would be something where we could have the story and the gameplay tied together closer than ever before. And, and it just clicked into place in, 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 in a very exciting way that, that survival horror, like let's do Remedy's take on a survival horror game. So uh, included in this pivot to, to survival horror is, uh, is an M rating this time yep. around leaning. So is this, is this gonna just, are, are we, can we expect a, a very violent Alan Wake 2 or is it gonna be more of the sort of mentally disturbing imagery kind of M rating? Yeah, as said, psychological aspect is a big part of it. Yeah. Uh, may, like, like, I mean, it's, it's also liberating to, to <laughs> sure. be able to, like, like not uh, unnecessarily uh, uh, kind of like do compromises or, 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 or censor yourself uh, with the content. But at the same time, we, 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 we are not necessarily trying to do shocking content for its own sh sake. Uh, it, it is very much that this is the story and, and, and this is the setting and, and these are the events and, and now let's make them as in a, as true and as exciting way as possible and, and that gets us to a uh, mature rated game. When I think survival horror, like the scariest stuff in games that, that for me tends to be first person stuff. Are you sticking with third person for Alan Wake 2 or? Yeah, let's 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 we'll leave all that. the design things okay. for later. Fair enough. And, and 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 we like, you know, our plan overall now is that we will do the announcement. We we will talk about it, open it up just a bit. Yeah. Uh, and and then uh, true to the themes of the game, then we'll go dark. Yes. <laughs> for, I was waiting for your first Alan uh, Wake pun. Uh, for, for, for some time yeah. uh, to really focus on working on it. Sure. A, a ton of work remains. Yeah, 2023 uh, is, yes, is coming our release out then, window. And, yeah. and, 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 and we'll be focusing on working on it and then later on uh, next year, around summertime, yeah. uh, we will show you more and tell you so, more. So, translation, uh, Sony and Microsoft will fight over which one of them gets to debut, like, the gameplay trailer on their E3 stage, is what you're, is what you're telling me. Le we will <laughs> come back to the details <laughs> later on. Um, well, all right, let me ask you something that I think you will answer, because this is, I think this is a relevant question. I mean, you guys have been developing your own in-house Northlight yep. engine technology for a long time. It is beautiful. It's it's been great, but you're also partnering with Epic here. You know, sure. you've got and and they have the tremendous Unreal Engine Five. We just it is, saw it is incredible at, at the Game yes. Awards. We saw the the Matrix uh, Unreal Engine Five experience. So, are you are you sticking with Northlight here, or, is, or are you going to pivot yeah, to I think, Unreal? I, I, I think that. I, I can say that much is that yes, we this is on Northlight. Uh, we we feel that that especially for this kind of an experience where atmosphere and and stylization are are more important than ever before. Yeah, is that we we know Northlight so well we can focus on certain things and push certain things forward. Uh, Alan Wake 2 will by far be the best looking, most beautiful Remedy game ever. Right, it's, I mean, it's, it's next gen only, right? Well, there's no yes, Xbox yeah. One, no PS4, it is no, Series no. X, PS5, PC. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, what? what is it about Alan Wake, do you think, that's, that's stuck with you all these years, that, that has made you want to try to keep coming back to it and now here, you know, over a decade, however over, long it's been, I've lost yeah. all sense of time. You know, I, I, I think what we had there, uh, him ending up in that nightmare dimension of the dark place, making that sacrifice and being stuck there, it, it felt like a perfect ending, but also it is a cliffhanger, Yeah, obviously. And, and, and kind of like, I always felt that that uh, loss of drama dictate that, that it would be a hard journey for him <laughs> to survive from that. 
and 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 it it kind of ended up being a kind of self-fulfilling prophecy for us as well. <laughs> it's been a hard journey <laughs> to 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 get here. Uh, and and already answered the question from the the teaser trailer. Uh, Alan Wake's voice actor Matthew Prada clearly returning. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. I mean, he, he's, like, he's like back. our 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 actors uh, for our hero Alan Wake are the same. So so the Finnish actor Il Cavilli, we 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 saw on the trailer is the physical actor and 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 Matthew Prada. He's the, the voice actor. Uh, Sam, it is great to speak with you. It always is. Uh, likewise, it's been too likewise. long. I'm glad to be back in the same room with you. And I'm glad that Alan Wake 2 is a real thing that's coming to PC, Xbox Series X, and PS5 in 2023. Do we have a any window within the year that we're targeting? Or are no, we just saying? We, yeah, like uh, we'll, we'll come back to it later on. All right. Uh, for much more on Alan Wake 2 in the coming year plus, keep it tuned right here to IGN. This story is a monster. And monsters wear many faces.